It is a big pleasure to be with you again today on this fine Thursday morning. My name is Ram Maguko. It is a pleasure. And of course, thank you so much for being part of Y254. This is Power Talk. We are coming to you live from the broadcasting house here in Nairobi, Kenya. We are also streaming live through our website. That's at www.kbc.co.ke forward slash Y254. And of course, we are uh, uh, happy that you're glad, to, uh, you know, uh, we are happy that uh, and glad that you are with us today on this particular uh, program. Remember, a repeat of this show airs again tonight and every Thursday at 10 p.m. Now, this is part two of last week's conversation. Today, it's all about understanding relationship red flags, part two. And as we did it again last week, we are going to do it again today. I am with, to my extreme right, Apostle Prince Isaac. CAO Mark Zaki, the lead pastor of RWEMI Church in Ruiru. Thank you, sir. Today, today you, have, you have mentioned it so nice. How can you feel? feel mm. That's not a red flag. <laughs> <laughs> and next to me, I am with Violet Mumbi. She is an actor, actress, and a property advisor. Karibisana Violet. Uh, thank you so much, Ram. Looking uh, stunning today. Thank you so much. Kabisa. 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 See your red flag. Yeah, Kabisa. <laughs> Dressing well is not a red flag. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. And the hashtag is part of show at Ram Aguko and at Y254 channel. We value your feedback. Engage with us. Let us know where you're watching us from. And of course, I shall sample your feedback a bit later on during this particular morning show. Red Flags, part two. And this is Power Talk. So as now, let's start with you, Apostle. Mm -hmm. Last week, we, 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 we covered quite a, a lot. Mm -hmm. But still, we did not even touch on so many things yet. Mm -hmm. And today we want to touch on this particular aspect now. Let's get into marriage. Mm -hmm. Last week, what we were talking about, you know, before, uh, as, as you go on, on a date, mm -hmm. uh, before marriage, now we are in a marriage setup. Mumeolewa ama umeowana na huyu jamaa from day one. Uh, it doesn't matter regardless of the, 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 the number of times or number of, day of, of, of days you've been together. Mm -hmm. There can be red flags. Yes. Even in a marriage setup. Yes. What are some of them? And of course, give us your opening remarks. Talk about that generally. In terms of the marriage setup as a whole, generally, before I come to you, uh, Violet. Generally, I want to say thank you also for this opportunity. My fans, of, oh my goodness, everybody, let us send in those questions. I'm mm -hmm. telling you, we are ready for them like never before. <clears throat> Charlene, thank you. Now, <laughs> there are red flags in even a marriage setup. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can mention this one as a first one, number one. When. Uh, you are being bombarded by love. Too much love. Oh. You know that song that they sing, too mm, much. Too much love. Yeah. Mm. Too excess much love. excess love. Too much excess love. It's always a red flag. Think twice. So somebody loving you a lot is a bad thing. Somebody loving you excessively, extremely. There are things they are hiding behind the curtain. Ah! Human beings. You know, when somebody loves you, Nimbaya. When somebody doesn't, <laughs> Nimbaya. Nimbaya. <laughs> what, do, what do you want? What is the problem here? What be, do you mean don't say too much? Be very you. Be very you. Just be you. Be yourself. Be yourself. Be, be you. Yeah. Be do you. Do you. Don't take um, uh, the soap operas kind of realities and bring it into your own setup. Mm. Don't be a Romeo. Mm. Just be Isaac. You can't say, you know, all this. You can't do all that. Just be you. Let this woman know you as you. Let this husband know you as you. But still you're saying they should not love you too much. Too much, I mean, I mean there is that extreme that is not real. It's an extreme that is not real. It is excess, but it's not real. All right, Violet, let me come to you. Red flags in marriage. Do you believe that mm -hmm. 
they are there, mm -hmm. that they can be there, and uh, what are some of them that uh, mm -hmm. you've seen so far? And do you agree with what he's saying? I highly agree with what he's saying mm. about uh, the idea of being too good to be true. Mm. Yes. Yeah. You're showing uh, too much love, uh, and that to me, it may mean one thing or another. Mm. There's something you're hiding behind the too much love mm -hmm. you're giving. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so sometimes if you see someone, I mean, Badilika Kidogo, they are showing some different type of thing you're not used to. Mm. Now that's when you say, aye, this is too much. Or maybe they have good intentions or not, but it's good to be very careful and be on the lookout to know if this person has been too good or is, is, is it just them that is how they are. Now, let's yes. give a disclaimer in this particular uh, uh, part now that you've given your opening remarks in regards to this. Yes. This is a marriage setup. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's not like last week we were talking about marriage. Yeah. Those are not yet dating. Yeah, you Those are, are still dating. Dating, yes. Yeah. Courting. Now, now this is a marriage setup. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. When you talk about red flags, are we advising mm -hmm. divorce? No. Mm -hmm. We are not advising divorce. It is against even the laws of the nature of the world, even of the land. Mm. It's against. Mm. Divorce is something not permittable. Mm. It's totally, it's totally a no-go zone. It's, it's better you stop going to marriage mm. before than getting into that marriage and get divorced. And here we're talking about red flags in marriage. In marriage. Now, you are now in marriage. Mm -hmm. The only problem that we touched on last time mm. is that... Uh, most of the people are carried up with the bombarding of love. They are taken over, and you see, they are, now they walk into this class called love is blind. Mm. And so in the blindness of love, they mm. find themselves falling into some ditches that they didn't really want to know about. Yes. Please, this brother before, this sister before, please, can you just get to know them? Mm. Leave alone the fancy show, the fancy outing, the fancy everything. Now that now you are in marriage, be real. Real to me as a wife, real to me as a, as a, as a, as a husband. Mm. Because in real sense, you'll find you loved me or I loved you as a wife, you know, and as a husband. And when we get into the house, I realize you are not that kind of a person. You don't like even washing. When we were talking, you told me love washing. Yes. You, you don't like cooking. And when we were talking, you told me, my goodness, the day you will taste my food, you will know that there is a queen in the house. Vashti has gone and Esther has come. You know, mm. you will put all this kind. And now when the reality comes, mm. is a mess. For ground is different. For ground is different. Now, there is where we now advise, please, if this one comes to this level, Attach yourself or talk to people who have gone through it. Bring this person into a reality check. Talk to them. Let them come out real. Because apu walikudanganya wakuweke ndani ya box. Ukatoshea umefuni kwandio. Now that you are in marriage and you have seen this is a re really dangerous red flag. You know, you need somebody to come and help you in it. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. So you had asked about if uh, there are some red flags in marriage. Yes, the red flags are there, but you're not asked to leave your marriage the moment you see red flags. You, there are ways of approaching these red flags. And every problem that is there, there are always, we are, we are, it's good that we always look for ways to solve the problems. So for example, one of the red flags I usually see in most marriage, it is the anger management issues. You see, that, that, that would, uh, would uh, go further to uh, emotional abuse, physical abuse, mm. because once someone is not able to manage their anger, because you don't expect to be happy with someone from January to December, there will always be fights, there will always be arguments, mm. there will always be issues. So it will take a very uh, emotional, uh, a very mature person emotionally mm. to be able to solve these uh, anger problems or arguments. Mm. So, 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 in, so in other words, what you're mm. talking about in this conversation today and, yes. and i love how you're bringing it mm -hmm. up yes. because you're saying last week's conversation it's all about those who are dating mm -hmm. so you have the ability to opt out mm -hmm. but in today's conversation mm -hmm. is those who are married yes. so you don't have the ability to opt out mm -hmm. the only so ability you have mm -hmm. is to get a solution yes. to get a solution get okay. a solution yeah because mm -hmm. there are always ways to approach these mm -hmm. red flags mm -hmm. and number one ways of approaching because there are so many red flags number one thing you can do to uh, to, to to approach these red flags in a good way is communication 
mm-hmm. communication and also seeking advice seeking for counseling mm-hmm. because you need to understand your person much better. much better so if there are anger management issues which is one of the red flags in a relationship go talk to a counselor mm. or even go talk to a or talk to your husband or wife or your spouse mm. ask them how uh, w- what are the things that you feel mm. uh, when i do to you unakasirika mm. what can i because you, you know anger management issues in those in a letter if you look at what is happening today there are a lot of killings in relationships honestly mm. ram mm. there are a lot of uh, murder cases abuse yeah, abuse mm. there's uh, physical fights there are most of the killings by the way according to me i feel like zina leto na relationships mm. and healthy relationships so what we advise people is to communicate you know maybe someone and a chapo ko kwa nyumba mm. and they just go and close and themselves in the house and be quiet in the house mm. but why would you do that kwa sababu ile wakati utakufa ama utapigwa or you fight in the house and there'll be no one to help you can't speak out there's there is, no justice mm. for people who are mwenye mtu amekufa hawezi speak out mm-hmm. so we advise people to communicate that is one way you approach a red flag in a relationship mm-hmm. and that communication is very key why because there is this thing that has gone to social media it's a it's a meme it's going on to social media there is a somebody who is feeding like a small lion you you you're feeding a small lion with mm-hmm. milk mm-hmm. and then uh, the the lion starts growing and the lion grows and it grows big mm-hmm. and now you don't feed it the lion starts feeding on you mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. so it is dangerous when you know you are feeding a lion and you're still feeding it it is dangerous when you're feeding your own red flag and giving it opportunity that is why the communication part is very important that communication part is very important why communicate in the morning communicate mm-hmm. during the day communicate in the afternoon communicate in the evening let your body expression communicate any person in marriage who is not communicating that is a very dangerous red flag all right now let now let us touch on the different aspects mm-hmm. and if possible give solutions where applicable exactly mm-hmm. one mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. we have people in marriage who have their uh, a problem when it comes to work mm-hmm. their jobs mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. every time mm-hmm. this person comes late in the night is that a red flag mm-hmm. when your husband comes late midnight 1 a.m and, mm-hmm. and 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 sometimes it it goes maybe 2 a.m mm-hmm. and akikuja mapema maybe mm-hmm. once in a while mm-hmm. um but some are afraid they're, they're wondering mm-hmm. could my partner be cheating on me ama anaenda pahali ndo arudi nyumbani aseme oh i was at work mm-hmm. getting home late in the night mm-hmm. let's talk about that yes let me mm-hmm. see still on your friends mm-hmm. that one is a sweet one i like it mm-hmm. Num- three reasons why men go home late number one they are not performance that is number one they <laughs> don't perform and a man who is not a performer mm. a true performer i am talking about performance. performing you know glory be to god hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs> feel the anointing coming down performing <laughs> performance you make sure that your wife amepigwa pasi na amenyoroka laini iko sawa that man will always come home very early very early mm. but a man who is not a performer will always find an excuse to come late to come late but where are they going to they are going now to what we call boys clubs <laughs> that's why you find after after work because every there is no work there is no job here in Kenya or in the world that you can work 24 hours or 18 hours so 19 hours or 10 15 hours no so way. there is no job that can take somebody t- you know till midnight, uh, till midnight. And, uh, and even doctors have their own time <laughs> even doctors have even their have, they, are, they are the most critical ones they are called they are doctors on call but uh, even as they are doctors on call they have left somewhere going somewhere and when they are done with somewhere they are going back somewhere okay quickly you said there are three there are three uh-huh. number one performance number two 
they are the the wife has become a nuisance or the husband has become a nuisance mm. in the such that what they thought she was has just changed all of a sudden mm. she's an animal yeah. you come back home and you're not treated as the king you are or the queen you are you're given things, you're being thrown. You don't find food on the table. You don't, you don't even find food on the table. She was waiting for you. She could give the children food and wait for you until you come is when she can eat. All right, number three. Number three, when they are not, what, what, how can I put it? When they are not the role model of their family. When they feel they have lost their man, they have they have lost their position of leadership. They have All lost right. their position uh, of influence. Uh, let me come to, to to you. Comment on that particular issue here. Mm -hmm. Coming late at home. Mm -hmm. Red flag. Uh, that's a red flag. If it's uh, a man who's coming uh, home late. Yes, as uh, Apostle has said, I highly agree with him about there's no job that you'll work 24 hours. If you're working uh, at night, in the morning, I expect you to be there during the day. But if you're someone who's coming home late at night, if it happens once in a while, that is okay. And as I understand, maybe you, uh, you went somewhere uh, very far f away from, uh, you know, from work. Maybe you are not uh, within a Nairobi. That is okay. I would understand once in a while. But if it becomes something that's happening daily, mm. daily, I'll know there's a problem. As a woman, as a lady in the house, also, ladies, honestly, if you see your man is an aqua void, mm. it's good that you communicate to Jue if there's an issue with you. Mm. Because sometimes they feel like a peace pale nyumbani. And you know, your house is the only, is, is the only safe haven. Your one safe one space. Wa, one yeah, but you are emotionally abusing this person. Yeah. Yeah. But you, when, you, when, when you, you have your spouse in the house, Maybe you have a problem and you're not talking back to them. Mm. That's that's bad. That one I would not advocate for. If someone you have an issue, talk about it. Like in Ukiona, um, uh, the man is coming to the house mm -hmm. and they are not talking. Uh, maybe you have a problem. Uh, mm. They don't want to solve their issue. Mm. No, you're emotionally abusing this person. Mm. How do you feel when you're not talked to by someone Aye. and you're in the same space? Aye. So when the other one is going to the kitchen and the other one is going to the... Mm. No, it's good to ask what is the problem. Mm. So you'll see this person at a void apple because they want to be in a place or in an environment where people are appreciating but, them. But, but now, still, there mm -hmm. are some women who also come home late. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Not just men. Not uh -huh. just men. Even women. Yes. Yeah. So for the for the women also, uh, it's still a red flag mm. because if it's this girl's out, uh, if if you look if if you look at your circle. And your girls out, munaifanya too sick. There's a problem with your circle, because what are the any girls out? Mm. Fine, girls out is okay. But why do it at night? Why do it late at night? Mm. If your friends are all, always having girls out at, at night at 12 midnight, mm. there's a problem. You can have it, but have it on Saturdays in the afternoon so and go back home dunda. early. Mm. Yeah, time ya kwenda dunda. Mm. So, so if you have time ya kwenda dunda and you have someone in the house waiting for you, mm. waiting for you to, you know, you are married to that person. You're not mm. married to these friends. Dunda. Alafu dunda. Why don't you, before you ata ufike kwa your marriage? What is so new about Dunda? Mm. I mean, these things you have done, them. These things you've <laughs> yeah. So I don't expect you make your marriage. Yeah, <laughs> you're itching. <laughs> uh -huh. And you see, like the way she's saying, she's very right. Uh. It, a married man and a married woman, their first priority mm -hmm. is their heaven, is their home. Mm -hmm. First priority. And if you find a woman coming home late, it's because either the three things are happening and the man is not satisfying her. And so she's finding pleasure somewhere else. Mm. And when she's finding pleasure somewhere else, these things happen. Yes. The three things still apply even to a woman. So they must, they must put their family a priority. Mm -hmm. my, my, 
If I love, for example, she's my wife, and I love her, my goodness, I'm always itching, like, e time in a figure, babe, niko karibu kutoka, na kam. You can't wait to go home. You can't wait to go home, because these hours are many. Now, in cases where families, because I'm sure there is somebody who is married who is going through this. Yes. You are going through a particular scenario where, or season in life where, you no longer find it interesting to go back home. Au siki ni kama, imifika time ya kwana nyumbani, lakini wa, ah, Sasa pale nyumbani kuna shida. Because that place is your first, is the first place unafaa kutuwa stress. In fact, when you're going out, nuko unapata stress inje, not the other way around. Not the other way around. So ukipata, you know there is so much happening in this world today. There is so much stress at work. Yes. There is so much stress with our friends. So when you go out there, coming back home should be the place where you relieve all that stress mm. but if kikuwa ni mahali unarudi mm. and even the stress is more then that is not good and how all do right. we approach some of these things you try and talk it out mm. you try and and lay everything on the table communication is key ask them why they are coming home late yes uh, no, actually you you, um, you may not be that direct but first what is the problem let's start with the problem uh -huh. Mimi na, 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 nafanya mm. kazi no, 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 kulipia wewe na watoto, mm. na rent, yeah. na school fees. That's yeah. why I'm coming home late. Yeah. Why can't you understand that? That's yeah. the answer you'll get. You, 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 you will mm. not get that answer. Mm -hmm. huh? From a true man, you'll never get that answer. What, ah. what answer From a fake one who has a big red flag, you'll get that kind of an answer. Why? Because they are now starting to manipulate you. Mm. That is manipulation. So somebody who is lying will say that. Yes, mm. somebody who is lying, who is a manipulator, a dictator. Mm. will now start that one to cover it up to cover it up <laughs> so that now the woman now yeah. may now shrink mm -hmm. and now totally become dependent to on the man on the man yeah. now a good relationship is the relationship that makes the woman independent mm -hmm. and the man independent mm -hmm. and when they come together they are interdip they they interdepend on each other so should you ask why they are coming late yes you should you should you should you should. Why? Because you have already known. Now you are married. Before you are dating, now you are married. You have already known the working hours of this guy. Mm -hmm. You have known the working hours of this woman. And whenever there is kind of late, you just give. You know, I can talk a job for. By the time I fika at home, ni late kwa sababu ya jam. Atafika kitu seven up. Iki past seven, nine. Mm. Labda meenda church. Mm. Naka si church. Club. 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 Naka si club. Hapo pengine. John Cena. Still, okay. So, there are some women who say, wachana eh, you wana chelewa, you know tabia yake, ni memzoea. Anakuanga hivo. Anakuanga hivo. That kind of a lady, amefika mahali ya mekua too manipulated, it have gotten to a point that, now whatever happens, happens. And now this is very unhealthy because, if you see a woman telling you what you are doing, just know she's up to something. Mm. A woman and I know. Yes. Definitely. Oh. Yes. The woman. Yes. 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 We have already talked these things to our circles. We've told our friends. They have given us ideas. They've told us what you can do. Mm. And then, for us, we are comfortable. So you, we chelewa, pia mimi, sinajua na fika nine, na mihu wana ingia four, leo nita ingia six. Mm. So, ikupata a scenario where a woman mm. says, mm. nime mzoea, mm -hmm. for example, nime mzoea, mm. and atakuja late. Yeah. Nime mzoea, analala na wana wakini. Yes. Mm. Even though vinyeye yuko, mm. nime mzoea, yes. Analehu analehu. Leo. Ni mezoea. Anakuwa na iya asira. Anakuwa na iya asira. Anaribu pesa. Ni mezoea. Even do wanaume wako. Wako. Mbora rudi nyumbani. Akiwa hapa ni wangu. Akiwa huko inje. Ni ya umu. Ni ya community. Ni ya community. Community husband. Iyo ni dhambi. Ni mbaya. It's wrong. It's an error that must be corrected. And who should correct it? The woman or the man? The person who should correct it. Is because all of these people are protectors to each other. The woman is a protector to the man. Why? Because the woman covers the man from any other feminine. And the man is a protector to the woman.
he covers the woman from every masculine mm -hmm. so that all masculinity will see the lady will see masculinity in me as the husband and I'll see all femininity in her as my wife so we are all protecting each other once anything else comes in in the midst of us that means we are starting to hear a third voice mm -hmm. and believe you me Ron even if I love this woman as a heaven come down on earth and you start talking to her and she listens to you you will always make a gap you will stand in the middle mm -hmm. and when you stand in the middle another one comes another one comes if I used to tell her baby I love I will now start shouting because you are here, all of you are here. So I'll say, baby na kupenda, aujui na kupenda oye. And you know it will, sound, it will not sound now passionate, it will not sound romantic, it will not sound in love. It will, it will sound dictated. Wo ujuwangi na kupenda, na kupenda oye. So ikifika time when you are so used to each other. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's not good. It's not good, it's a red. Mezoyana sana. Yeah, Mezoyana. Umefika mahali na ito a, ineza kuata unrepairable. Mahali imefika. Mm. Yeah, because if you mezoe, mezoe, na yu ndio kitu inasumbua wanawake sikuizi. Mm. And the world that we are in today. Because you are getting too comfortable with the fact that they cheat. Mm. Mm. But, 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 but now you see nature. nowadays, yes. um, uh, uh, and, and not just nowadays, we have some of these, those who are married, they have been married for so, for so long mm. that they no longer feel it is going to be worth <coughs> it to mend some of these issues. Wanasema mimi nimezeeka. Sasa wanataka ningangane nipigane na kelele na huyu jamaa. Na niko na watoto. Na niko na watoto ambao wananitegemea ambao when that happens, when that happens is a critical zone. Mm. We are sorry that it is the reality it's, it's the, the reality happening out here. Mm. But now to recorrect it, let me tell you love never grows old. Bodies get get old souls get old this thing get old but love never gets old love is new every day i can learn from my grandmother mm. and my grandfather they loved each other until their their last days they loved each other yani nyowenga yeah they are like they are together they are walking all over they are they are love yani eh yani wamependana yani eh these people, you separate one from the so other. So this issue that people are saying, wame, wanaishi to Nairobi uh, uh, kuskuma maisha. maisha. Because in Nairobi, mm -mm. just kusaidia na kulipa school fees, mm -hmm. kulea watoto, ama mm -hmm. kulea wajuku, yo. That one in the first place mm -hmm. wasn't a marriage. It was a contract. Right. It wasn't a marriage, and the, it was wrong, and they just pushed themselves into it because they were all desperate to get a home. And to add on that, oh. that is that those people who are saying that, those people when you may figure to that uh, position, that critical position, you know, those are the same people who are advising the youths. They are the same people <laughs> who are advising the young people mm. who want to get married. Now, mm. you mm. aribu. That is why someone at my age, my very young age, and I say, Mimi. Sitaki kuelewa hizo mm. vitu why because they are learning from the parents or from the aunts or from the older relatives who have already given up mm -hmm. and so unapata marriage siku hizi what one, they are taking so much time yeah. a, a guy at 28 anasema mimi hizo marriage hizo mambo stack mm -hmm. because that is what the society the older people are showing us mm -hmm. and now they are damaging us right. and that is where now it's leading to mm -hmm. homosexuality exactly and lesbianism, lesbianism. Yes. And if it is not so, you 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 find your Samantha. You find your mm. own Samantha in your own house. You have a Samantha in the house. And your and I don't Austin. And I don't know. Steve Austin. Mm. Austin. Mm. Austin. Mm. Steve Austin. Mm. Austin. Mm. Ako kwa kwa mm. the rock. Ako up. <laughs> You know what, what is he referring to? Mm. Yes, I know. <laughs> 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 now, now, still, ladies and gentlemen, wherever you are, send in your questions because these are relationship red flags that you would like to engage you on. Mm. Ask your questions. The hashtag is why in the morning. Head over to our Facebook page on our page that is at Y254. You'll see our photo there and our post there. Drop your comments and your questions. We shall answer them as you continue with this show. Now, let's talk about parents mm. now you are there's so many examples i can give let me start mm. with 
you are married, mm -hmm. but your wife or your husband does not listen to you. Anasikia sauti ya mzazi wake. Mm. When you are having an argument, he calls home to the parent and says, Nimekosana na buwanangu. Mm. Nimekosana na bibiangu. Mm. Is it a red flag when your parents are always aware about the problems you are having mm. and your partner only listens to their advice and not your voice? It's a big red flag. Unfortunately, it's a big red flag because the Bible is very clear and any marital institution is very clear on this mm. that a man shall leave exactly. to cleave. Mm. That is very open and outrightly clean. Leave and cleave. That is a principle. Leave your mom and your, your leave father your and mother. Father, leave your mother. And cleave your leave your, your guardian. Leave your spiritual father, whatever. Leave. But, you your mean, man but somebody is saying that I need their advice. They are my parents. Mm -hmm. So they go home. Then still grow up. Why are you getting married? You're still mm -hmm. a kid in a king. Mm -hmm. You're still a boy in a man. Mm -hmm. you, you, you don't have the capacity to make decisions by yourself. Your mama will not be there for you forever. Your daddy will not be there for you forever. You must grow up. And this is why we talk about mama's boys and daddy. Baby, and, and dad, daddy's boy. No, uh, my, my question would be, uh, if uh, this guy who is always talking to the mom when there's a problem, what if they have a kid? So... What is going to happen? Mom will the be kid. the nanny. See, mom will be the mom taking will, care. Mom Ata kuwa natoka gishagi. Ana. Ana, ana, ana kuja so, na robi. So, mtoto akiwa na shida, he will go to the dad. And then the dad, who is a very grown-up man, is going to the mother. So, I don't understand. It is confusion. It is confusion. <laughs> you know, that is why I'm yes. telling you, the principle is clear. As a man, style up, man up, yeah. and grow up. As a man, if there is a man listening to the father and the mother more than the, the way they can listen to the wife, that is not a man, that is a boy, a kid, a child. What about a wife? What about a woman who a is woman listening to the parents and not the voice the, of the husband? That is also a girl, a baby girl. In fact, an affair, a, 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 a girl toto. A girl toto. <laughs> a girl toto. <laughs> My mother said me, my mother told me, my mm. mother even warned me, my mother, my father, come on. What you lacked from your mother, your mother cannot give you. Your father cannot give you. You had to come to me because me, I'm the one who can give you that thing. Come on, let, let, can I talk here? Ah, talk. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, I, I also believe uh, uh, sometimes there are these uh, parents, this mother and father-in-law, who bring positive uh, advice to the relationship. See, lazima wako yapo when there are fights. They can come and help you and guide you. If it's uh, um, the mother to the guy, uh, the guy is being stubborn, maybe he's a drunk and all, the mom can come in and ajaribu um, advice. You are hurting your marriage by doing this, whatever you are doing. But a mom who is coming to advise, wachana na wife, ufanya hivi, usifanya hivi, that's bad. Let me ask that's this question. Let me ask uh, another yeah. example. Mm. There are mothers in law who leave Gishagio, they come to Nairobi mm. and spend the night in, the, in, in that home. And the first day, mm. they enter. Kitambaya white handkerchief. And they spend days mm -hmm. at home. Mm -hmm. And the woman mm -hmm. feels as if the mother-in-law is supervising her. And Angalia umepiki am to wangu nini. Umepika kulangi hivi. Akulangi hivi. Umeka umeka nyanya mingi. Kitungu mi umeka mingi. And the, the, the mother-in-law is now mm -hmm. living and staying with you. Mm -hmm in your home. That's a mimi in Tatoka. Then well. I leave you and your son. So, so you'll divorce? No. What I will, will not divorce. But what? already this is wrong. The, and there, already these are two women in the house. These are two women in the house. She doesn't want to leave. And you cannot tell her mom, walk out of my house. Is it, is it bad if it, the mother in law comes? It is to very you? wrong, my brother. Really? Man of God, it is very <laughs> guy Jehovah Jesus, my goodness. Pepo is she dwells at a year kupigwa makofi. It is wrong. It is wrong. When you come as a mother, you have come into your daughter's house or your son's house. Please wait to be served. Awesome. Whatever whatever the lady will bring to you, appreciate. 
Yes. If there are anything to add, call her aside and tell her, daughter, this is excellent. I love this. This one is wonderful. But ndio nishibe, niongeze yangi kidogo. Na najuanga pia ye, anashibanga zaidi, niongeze kidogo. But do not put your law in some, another woman's law, in another woman's house. No. Your time of your house is uko. Tafadhani? <laughs> Hili nyumba ingine. Don't overstay. Please. <laughs> no overstaying. Na pia ukikuja, si ati lazima upige simu. You can come in. You are a mother. But if only you are a good mother. Yes. But now, but now you see, mm -hmm. um, to be fair, we are not just talking about the mothers of the sons. Also the mothers of the daughters. Hey. Mm -hmm. Amekuja nyumbani, I love to, to see whether you are mine enough to take care of her daughter. Mm. Hapo ndiyo inakuanga shida sasa. Sasa upate ule ambaye akona umbea na akona manganga. Hmm. Na najua msichana yake a, akimuangalia hivi aone amekoda. Amesema mshana yagu. Ever since you took my daughter. Amekoda. <laughs> Ameisha. Atakuja na haze akiwoi gai waiguru. Neke reu. Neke neke. <laughs> Violet, you said that uh, if your husband's mother comes home, mm -hmm. now what if it is your mother that has come home? Me, no, uh, it it depends. Even the mothers, uh, 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 if my the, the mother to my husband, Akikuja, uh, yes. and she's not this negative person who is coming to drain off my energy in my house, that is okay. We are talking about your but own mother. Yes, if my mother also comes and she's not this uh, snoopy person, uh. what to do. We had that time when I was at, at her house, mm. at our house that time. Mm. She, we had the time for yes. her to, to discipline me, yes. tell me going this way is yes. wrong. Now your time is Lisha. So now I'm a, I'm a grown up, I'm a big girl who has my own family hmm. and I can I, I know what to do yes. so if so she's it, coming to tell you this is how you should take care of a man she can, and, and then your mother will tell you yeah. listen to me my daughter no, no. I took care of your own father mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so I know what if, I'm doing if I go if I ask her for advice mm. she can tell me the outside the outside the house mm. is it a red flag when you when you keep on seeing your mother in law coming it, to visit it, it every is. time Eo, yes, just as he said every relationship is, it's only uh, two people the moment you bring in a third party, you now understand. that's when you're going to destroy that relationship. Mm. Mm. So avoid this. Atakama ni mother-in-law, atakama ni nani. Avoid this third party people. So it's a red flag. If I, she's only bringing negativity to your house. And what, how will you have your own mother? And, and, eh? even if, <laughs> and even if she's bringing positivity, because there are mothers who love to see their, their daughters flourish, their son flourish. They love it. And you see, at times, anakuja, analeta omena, anayekapo. Analeta kamaragwe, anangusha hapo. Na ameenda. Anasema, tunikuwa na apitia, nikaangusha hiyo, na ameenda. Those are right. good mothers. Yeah. But wale ambao wanakuja, wanapiga kambi, wanaeka muguju ya kiti, wanachukua remote, wanaanza kukontrol. Yes. Wana kukontrol na remote ya nyumba yako, na wana control bibi, na wana control watoto. Mm. My goodness, ingia fasting. Ama nitafute. I will pray a prayer. Glory be to. Can I talk like I feel it? <laughs> what can help? Eh? Uh, you have you've asked. How can I tell my own mom? Yes. You know, uh, according to me, speaking for me, I have a very understanding mom. And I, I have a uh, best yes. friend in her. Yes. So she's the kind of person kukiwa na issue ni tamambia mom kuko hivi na hivi. And she will understand. Very calm person. So but you see, yeah, also, I will, I will. also on that mm. note, mm. There, everybody protects their mother. I, I, I want protect, us to take a break. She will protect her mother. And you will protect her. And I want to take say, a break. My mother also understands me mm. and is a friend. Her mother also <laughs> understands her and is a friend. I want us to take a break. All this mother we'll, we'll, should be kept off. <laughs> <laughs> we'll come back after this. And then you'll tell us uh, uh, what happens when your mother has come or your parents have come home. I love her. I love her. I love her. Mm. They are not the right person for you. Mm. What do you do? Relationship red flags, aye, 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 part aye. two. And of <laughs> course, we still have a lot of stuff for you. Ask your questions. We're taking a short break. We'll be back in a bit. This is Power Talk. Aye. You know, could Wow.
Y254. Imagine. All right. Uh, so welcome back. This is Power Talk. And of course, we are glad to have you with us. I'm seeing so many comments on our social media platform. I don't know if we... To the summer, Saizi, Timuama, Tungoja Kidogo? Saizi? All right. Uh-huh. Okay, ni mabato ngoja kidogo. All right. Um so let's continue with this particular conversation right here on uh, why in the on, on power talk. And of course, uh, today I'm with the uh, Apostle Prince and uh, Violet Mubi here in this particular uh, conversation right here on Power Talk. And of course, Timothy Kotayari, you know, as a uh, as a pale juu, and then you see what people are saying right here on uh, this particular conversation uh, in in today's show. And of course, it's all about relationship red flags. So drop in your questions. The hashtag is Power Talk Show at Ram Aguko, and that Y254 channel is where you can be able to uh, uh, talk to engage with us at Ram Aguko is uh, where you can be able to find me to find me and of course at Y254 channel is the official station handle now before we went on that break we're talking about parents mm -hmm. now let's handle this particular issue here before we sorry or oh, 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 remember to some comments all right uh, uh -huh. bring, bring them up bring them up uh-huh all right so uh this is the first comment of the day we are this is from uh, T, uh, T2, uh, Musamalian. Some of the foundation of your marriage okay. is uh, uh, at early stage is important. And as an apostle getting you uh, there, th getting you there, I wish the whole world would uh, be listening to this unique and important talk. Aha, mm. uh -huh. Sarah Sana. By the way, this conversation is helping many people. A lot. I always get a lot of feedback. Mm. Juma Paulo and Juma Paulo and Sama relationships of nowadays too. Hey, akayaka yu emoji ya. Ah. All right. Aha, tuone next comment quickly quickly. Aha. Tito bado ana anaongea na sana sana wonderful talk and very paramount. A uh, sky boy is Kim and sana interesting power talk. Yes, yeah, sky boy. This is power talk. Moscato rapper King and sana I'm right there with you. Asante sana. And of course, we shall sample a bit more of, of your comments because the coming pale sana kwenye mtandao wengine wameongeza zingine. Aha. All right, let's continue. Uh Prince. Yes. The in-law has come home. Mm. Na amekwambia hata mm. kama mlioana na huyu jamaa inafaa muachane. Mm. What do you do? You go to your wife Ama you ask your wife in front of that person to avoid rumor and to avoid a lot of behind and chinia carpet manenos. Mm. Amesema evil. The husband is here, the wife is here, the mother or the father or the uncle or the auntie. Kapa. Unasema tu wachane na huyu. Where were you when we were beginning? You can't okay. ask your, your mother that question. You, you should. How? This is your house. You're now married. You're not dating. You mm. married, my brother. Ulipeleka mahari. Hauku muoa hivi kando kando. Wachana na wale ambao wakuiba. Wasichana wa wenyewe. Na wakaiba tu, wakaweka hapo na wamezalisha watoto tano. Uende peleka mahari kwenda huko. Nita kuongelesha yeah, badai. Wajwa tutuongea kuzuyo. Tutuongea badai. Yeah, 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 badai. Yeah, so, badai. So, muambie, aseme kitu mbele ya bibi yako. Bibi yake. Na akisema aseme. Sitasema. Alafu akishasema, hmm. uliza bibi. Unakubaliana? Kama atakubaliana, jua ya kwamba from the word go, huyu bibi yako kupenda. Because love never ends. Never fades. Hmm. It can ne the depth of love, the width of love, the length of love, the, the height, height of love mm. can never. In fact, the Bible is what can separate us from. Uh -huh. uh, the only thing that can separate you from this person mm. is adultery or fornication or uh, uh, rock. All right, uh -huh. still red flags. Mm -hmm. Your parents have told you that you cannot continue the the, the, the marriage mm -hmm. with uh, that particular with mm -hmm. your husband. What mm -hmm. do you? What okay, you you, that's a red flag, of course. It's a red flag, and you didn't come that far, or and, and all the things that you have gone through, because marriage is not as simple. Yes. So Mumianza Mahali, mm. you had your foundation. You know where you got this lady. You know where you got this man. Mm -hmm. Someone prayed very hard for their spouse. Exactly. Exactly. It is unfair for you to go all that way just to be separated by someone who is telling you how far you were turning home to. 
now. Mm. That will, in fact, when you evil, that will be very stupid of them. Because yes. mm. I don't expect a grown up person to mm. be wachana na wife yako, wachana na husband yako, and they are okay with that. In fact, I am a confirm Holy Spirit amenena through ye. No, that, that will be wrong. And personally, I would not leave my husband just because I have been told by someone to do so. You know, your mother will tell you, my daughter, mm, mm, I have mm, prayed about mm, water. Mm. Mm. You know, now, my mother, yeah. my mother has had that re her relationship yeah. with my father. Mm. I was not there. You know, Waka grow and they did whatever they did. Mm. For for so they should leave it to me now. This is my marriage. This, this is, is my, my home. Exactly. This yeah. is my home. If if women yes. would think the way you are thinking mm. now, to answer the question, <laughs> if women would think the way she is thinking, yeah, divorce would not be an option. They could have gone to solve it. Exactly. And bring a solution that is permanent, that is lasting. It if it marriage. it were you who was feeling truly. Mm. There is a way I'm feeling, mm. but not for you to be told. If you go sour, we are at a kikuja siku mara tatu no na skia uko sour. So so kikuja kuambi utoke. Will you do that? That will be stupid of now, me. Now let me see. Still ask this yes. question. Um, another scenario here. You come to realize that uh, your wife has been having some plants, cheeky plants with the, the in-laws. Na haja, haujawa ijua. Mm. Kumbu wako na mipangilio zao, na maneno zao wanaongea uh, 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 uko, uko kando. Mm. It is happening. Yes, yes, it is. Red flag? Very. What do you do? How do you handle that? You just know you're having a traitor with you. You're not having a wife. You're having a knife that is about to kill you. Mm. Mm. Because a real wife, a true wife, is one, my brother, one with you. You think one, you do one, you say one, you go one, you are one. So the moment they are separated to listen to other people is not a wife, is a concubine. <laughs> <laughs> Who's concubine? Okay. Uh, uh, Violet, yeah. your husband is still listening to uh, 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 the in-laws. Mm -hmm. Talking behind your bar, mm -hmm. na how would you? Mm -hmm. How do you handle that? No, that that I would feel we are we are not we are not one. We are not in a marriage. Still, we are not one. If you if you are going to talk to your in laws uh, about me, mm. then come bring your in laws at home. Marry them, <laughs> and then I'll walk out. I like her solution. I mean, I, I it's like, just I, simple. It's just simple. Bring them home. Mimi nyondoke. Mimi nyondoke. When you feel, enyewe sasa, I'm, I'm done with this. Ni meskiza in laws, I'm done. No call me. We can talk. Ah, yeah. Still, mm. another question here. We have um, a scenario where um, somebody does no, uh, no longer feels mm -hmm. uh, that they can trust their partner. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. When this happens is anakuuliza swali and every answer unatoa mm. anasema siamini mhm wewe sikuizi sikuamini mhm mm mhm mm right yeah how do you solve that exactly you're married you see, remember you, mm -hmm. you see now that does not happen instantly mm. it is a process for somebody to get to that level it means you have been put on a spot for quite a long time Mm. And women are very good spies. They mm. are the best CIDs CID. in the world I than agree. any other CID that we have ever had and FBI. I mm. agree. They can do your... Uh, by the time Anakuliza Swali... Anajua. Anajua kila kitu. <laughs> anakuambia tu ili ujue ya kwamba ninajua. But as a husband, if you want to have it in a good place, do not play hard. In fact, because she is your wife, open up and say one, two, three, four at her hearing. What if she doesn't listen? She tells you, I, I don't believe every word you say. Now, in the process, mm. let her now become your best friend. Mm. If she is your best friend, or if she was your best friend, she will, okay, she might have put you on the spot.
but on the spot of wanting the best to correct you mm. and to bring you out from that quagmire or that mess. But a, wa a knife will put you on the spot so that they may find a reason ya kukwanika. And when kukwanika inakuja, I'm telling you she will get evidences everywhere. And she will bring it with a whole witness to tell them ya kwamba, you see, this was it. I knew it. Huh? I knew this would mm. happen. But now a good wife will bring you into a place of friendship and tell you, Habi, we have gone through this together. I want us to make it together. I know you have gone wrong. I'm forgiving you because of love. And I want to build us. And um, there is no language a man listens to like the language of love or sipna. There is no language. Omera, they, they listen to love until they bondeka. Wanaka bodo bodo. All right, uh, uh -huh. Your man tell <laughs> when you when he asks you questions and yes. you answer. Yes. And I come back. I don't believe everything you say. He tells me that. Mm. That is because number one, if they tell you they don't believe what you're saying, I may have broken their trust in one way or another, because that is the foundation of it all. Why would someone just not trust you for no reason? Of course, there's someone will will break trust. Yeah, okay. That is why when. Mm. When you when you when you say anything, when you tell them I'm going at a particular place, mm. and you just feel like I really don't trust this man or this woman, you broke their trust at some point. So what do you do? Try and match your words with actions, mm. because it will take time to rebuild trust. Yes, yes, it will take some time. So just keep encouraging this person, mm. and yeah, this is what I'm planning to do, and this is what I'm going to do. And then when you say you will do something, do it. Make sure you do it so that you match your words with actions, mm. because if you don't do that, that trust can never be rebuilt, and you will keep saying. I don't trust you. Mm -hmm. You want to do this? I don't trust you. Mm -hmm. And I'll never trust you. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and it can remain that way all right. as all long right. as we are together. I'll, 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 yes, another, another example. Mm. Ay, 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 ay. The, you, 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 every time you go to your wallet, you find some money missing. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. There's a problem somewhere about money here. Uh -huh. uh, one, you do not know where your finances are. Mm -hmm. Two, you don't know where, where you where this person is spending mm -hmm. their money. Yeah. Person to be a pot, a haiko. Mm -hmm. Every time you ask for money, there's no Hana. money. Hana. Uh -huh. Every time. Uh -huh. And when you check your wallet, pay as a man, unapata kuna time when you, I, I, I thought I left 2,000. Lama, mimi no nime zahau. But sometimes men are forgetful. Mm -hmm. So you assume. Mm -hmm. But one day you will realize that, no, mm -hmm. there is a problem here. Mm -hmm. Or as a woman, mm -hmm. you realize that your, your husband is uh, just akipata mshara, kuna venye pesa inaisha, sikuizi kuliko kwa inaisha kitambo. Yet anafanya the same, same thing, but there is something off. Mm -hmm. The reason is, priorities have changed. Mm -hmm. When priorities change, everything in that set up changes mm. number one when the lady feels that they are not being taken care of they will find a way of taking care of themselves and this that one the and that one is going even <laughs> to your wallet going a kijua password ya ya mpesa atatumia your pesa vizuri na ata delete message ata delete ata enda ata kwa bank a withdraw pesa na a withdraw kila kitu na kuwache hapo why? Because priorities have changed. And that is a very wrong foundation. When everything from the foundation is wrong, no matter how that house will become beautiful, it will still fall. And when you see that happening, know that the foundation of that marriage was very, very wrong. But now they were case... not open to each other. Baby, Mina na pokeanga i pesa. Hani we unaletanga ngapi? Tu eke pamoja. Wanasemanga pesa ya mwanaume ni ya mwanamke. Lakini, ha? Ya, ya, mwanamke, ya, ya mwanamke ni yake. Ni yake. Lakini ya mwanaume ni yetu. Mm. Nona? Mm. Wanasemanga hivyo. But in a good marriage setup, in a very good marriage setup, believe you me, there are husbands out here whose wives eh, have supported and they were having nothing. And right now, they are the pillars that are standing, you know? And their wives here, whose husband have supported. And right now, they are pillars. 
It doesn't mean that when you have is when you're senior, and when the other one has, they are not senior. You know, it, it is a balance. But, but you know, in, in the world of today, people are so skeptical. They, mm -hmm. they, they, they wonder, are they after my money? We must you know? come out of the world of today. Mm -hmm. Because if we go with the world of today, then my brother, we will get everything wrong. Mm -hmm. We must stick. That is why these elders are still there. Mm. And these people are still there. And these foundational truths are still there. Principles that cannot be omitted. Mm -hmm. We must go back to that one and it will help us. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. About the other finances. I believe when it comes to finances, be open. Tell, tell, tell your wife, uh, don't show them you have money kama haiko. Mm. But then that is one thing most people, men will do. You'll show them you have money. Oh, this is muscular person. Continue, <laughs> Nacheka. You show them you have money, but you don't have money. We have been there, that's right. Been there, that, I understand. I, and also, we have met people who are like that. A few of them will tell you, be honestly, to mend out, Nanikona only 1,000. Uh. So we work with that budget. Mm. And me as a lady, I'll know what to do. Mm. I will work within his budget. Ya yeah, 1,000, but we can find you on your own. It's a shida. Now when it comes waru. into a home setup, at least your wife understands he, this is the amount that he is getting. So ata nikiona dao kwa wallet, sita iba. So mm. uda, ata, ata kosa fea kuenda kesho. Umemazo jamaa, ujuwe nyan jipanga. Ujuwe nyan jipanga. But you see, you see, you see, wrong setups, mm. wrong setups, Mm. bring that kind of a thing. Mm. Wrong marriages, wrong choices. You mm. saw the red flags earlier, mm. you can avoid. Aya. Because mm. ku kuibia sahi, si ati alianza sahi. Mm. Kuna ile hata, si ata kwa wallet. There are those to change, umemuita home, ame come home, babe, come, ame come, kukusaidia kufanya one, two, three. Na ukawacha, kuna mahali unachanga ma 20 bob, ma 30, 50. Mm. Eh? Yeah, yeah, because when we end a job, we end up with Shugulisha. Yeah, me answer na hizo. Lakini Ram, kuna kitu moja na ta ku address kabla ni sahau. If you see her looking good, she's not asking you for money, and she's not stealing your money. Where do you want me pango? If she, if she's, she's going to the salon. No, we are just telling you the truth. Otafanya mtu lewa chukusi mpyaki afike simu. I, kama hauna pesa, tunaelewa, utatuelezea iko hivi na hivi, I will understand. But, if your oh. woman goes to the salon every end month, her nails, her nails are well done, uh -huh. she's dressed well, uh -huh. and you know, they are comfortable. At, yeah, me at our one is one in a pesa. Uh, My friend, I, I think know, you are I, lost. <laughs> you have a problem because you should, you, honest, this is your girl. Kaboom! Now, na, Najua, na by the way, you know, oh, you, you know women. At a kama to Nafanya Kazi, yes, we will work and we we'll lose our money, uh, but we don't, there's some parts seen a pesa. Yes. Like, you know, on a pesa. And Nasasa, I'm to address you, Hannah, she's not working. Mm. But she's looking good. She's always she's looking glowing. good. Mm. Even mm. her friends are asking her, hey, who are you dating? Mm. And you're there just quiet. Mm. There is a problem. There is a problem. Be and careful. Money mm. is an issue in marriage. Like, like any kuna watu about, uh, they are always looking good, mm -hmm. but they only ask for money. They always ask mm. for mm. money. Ako sawa, Yes, money is an issue. It uh, is an issue that needs understanding, it needs a lot of wisdom, and it needs a lot of counsel. Uh, let's talk about this. Mm -hmm. When they are not willing to disclose their investments, mm -hmm. I mean, I may invest wapi, I mm -hmm. when they are not willing to disclose their assets, mm -hmm. is it a red flag, especially in the marriage settings? You are not, in the, you are not looking to the same direction. Mm. You are not talking the same thing. Mm. You are not on the same page. Because mm. if you are my husband, why would you hide your investments? Yes. I'm your wife. We are supposed to be in this together. Mm. We are supposed to own this house together. Yes. The title did should read both our names. Mm. Why is it that you are hiding some of your investments? Even these ladies who are having these accounts is a chiniyamaji. Mm. Just talk to you. if you Dama. too. If you are willing to do you two people are uh, 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 ni, ni were too honest. Mm. You both believe in each other and you trust each other. Mm -hmm. Just tell them what you're up to. Um. Because uta feature, by the way, uta feature investment yako, uende ukoniwe hapo nje. Mm. <laughs> 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 Ukienda ukwe kond, uh. 
Yeah, it's a story that once happened I heard of. Mm. They didn't tell their wife what. They didn't tell their husband. It was the lady who didn't tell their husband mm, what, what they, they were doing. Mm-hmm. So she went to get this shamba without the husband's no consent. Uh-huh. She got conned 5 million. Shamba, After kukua conned 5 million, it started no issues with the bank. Kukimbizana here and there. Mm. And then it got to a point the lady had to be auctioned. So the husband anakuja kuchukuliwa vitu bila kujua. Bila kujua, bila kujua. And then he's like, what happened? She went to take some investments she was not sure about. She did not ask for the man's advice. The man did not did not ask for the lady's advice. No, nyo nyumba imeisha, vitu zimechukuliwa, gari imeenda, just because of poor financial decisions. Mm. It's very critical. Yeah. It's very it's very critical. You must you must as a man you must open up to your wife. As mm. a woman you must open up to your husband. You must open up financial mm. free, freedom mm. means mm. even everything. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Everything. Be, if, be, if be, be talking. Be mm. talk. If you're free financially, okay. it means everything is free. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm. Now, final question. When you one day realize the combo ujama and bow mukoki or kumba konanto nje na ujaja ijua. Mm-hmm. Ama uyu bibi. A konam toto na jawai. How do you handle such a scenario there? Is it a red flag that you opt it's, out? Yeah. You don't, you do don't, you continue? You, 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 you don't opt out. Mm. It depends also with how you got the information. Uh, briefly, yes. It depends. Mm. Because number one, maybe you have loved this woman so much and you believed everything. Yeah. But uh, you remember everything has consequences. So if you start with a lie, there is a consequence of lie. And, and, and for those who don't understand this particular example here, there are those who have gotten married and how could you have come to my wife and my wife? My wife alikuwa a child. My wife was a child. Nana, walienda hata nyumbani wakafika uko. I have taken somebody personally, personally, as a pastor. Yes. I've taken somebody who was a Na nikafika hapo, mtoto wa uyo mschana anamuita auntie. <laughs> na ni mtoto wake wa kuzaa na sisi tukajua hapa ni maanti tukauliza everywhere kila mtu anasema huyo only ni... for you to realize that huyo ni mtoto wake after two years hey. the man alibaki zile za jeso I want us to finish this conversation here <laughs> you, 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 your thoughts on that uh, my thoughts on that is uh, I, I advocate for honesty from the very first day this person who cannot take you because you have a kid is not someone you want to spend your life with. Mm. If you have a kid, they should accept you with your kid. Mm. So you just be honest and tell them, I have a kid 10 years old, 17 years old, or even 30 years old. You know? <laughs> <laughs> they should tell you they have a kid. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yes, because if they, they will accept you, with what everything you are, mm. with every with whatever you are, and if even most of it all, mm. your own blood. That is oh. someone you can live with. All right. Yes. I want us to finish this conversation with mm-hmm. this quote here. Mm. And of course uh, bring it up. <coughs> bring it up. As we bring this conversation to a close there. Now never dis- discredit your gut instinct. You are not paranoid. Your body can pick up on bad vibrations if something deep inside of you says something is not right about a person or situation, trust it. Mm-hmm. And that is what brings us to the end of this conversation. I don't see it so- Thank you so much for coming. Uh, thank you so uh, much for coming. <laughs> Have a good night, uh, everybody. Thank you so much for being part of today's uh, show. My name is Ram Maguko. This is Power Talk.